Uh, I'm Nick. I'm the currently the systems and infrastructure manager for the corporate technology group. So all of the internal tools that we do, my charter is basically if it is if it's a SaaS tool, my team is more or less in charge of administering it. Um, we are differentiating more so now, but like the core charter is most of the IDP authentication systems. Uh, all of the endpoint administration is mine and. Um, moving more into trying to guide our security team, which is a partner team of ours, to think about like the larger ecosystem and how the decisions that they make are going to impact all of the 3,000 workers that we have or so uh, that are doing work inside. The philosophy that's kind of guiding us is recognizing that we're trying to be as lightweight in the management as we possibly can. Um, while still delivering capabilities. I think that one of the reasons that we looked at fleet was price. Uh, and I think that there are elements of your feature set and the direction that you're going gets more in line with what we are trying to do. Um, I, I think that for us, we are, um, we're very focused on trying to build uh, an environment that is, you know, secure and and done in a way that is going to scale. Assuming that my team is not going to get any more headcount. Um, I tell my OS query or stories, but really the other aspect is like context is king when it comes to device data. Um, and there is so much of what's going on with specific device that depends on a bunch of different variables. Uh, you know, like, is this a test device? If it's a, is it uh, something that has been returned by someone? Like, what's the actual inventory lifecycle state? And I think that where we were going was we needed a way to be able to kind of surface a lot of that information, more, more of the information both about a specific device, but the fleet itself to our other teams and partners and giving them access or exporting things. Like there's a lot more information that CrowdStrikes has intentionally. It's an EDR tool that we don't want other people to have access to. There should really only be like four people in our organization that have the ability to log into that tool and pull that information. We were able to potentially show that, okay, you know, if we want to set a version uh, number as a, an enforced policy, if we want to be able to like have people update the standard based off of a pull request, that went very, very far with our infrastructure team to be comfortable with things. And it's also going to get back to that transparency, transparency element. I like there from executive pressure in the security teams, they just want to kick it out completely. Everybody says that until there's 10 principal engineers, you know, where all the bodies are buried and the only people who can kickstart a specific service because they wrote it themselves and like when those people threaten to quit very quickly, you back off of the no Linux anywhere uh, sort of approach. And so that was the other element of we need to build that story. And Fleet was an integral part of that decision-making process.